Okay, I've had people get onto me regarding where I get my steel from to do projects and particularly for turning stuff on the lathe. And um, the best place by far to get uh, materials for either making up a uh, component or turning steel, uh, if you're lucky, is a metal salvage yard. Uh, you'll pay a hell of a lot less for steel that's recycled or old stuff than through a major metal supplier and here's a case in point. I'll just show you what I got this morning and you can get a good idea on what sort of value for money you can get if you hunt around. Now over here we have a, nine, a bit over 900 mil length of 5 mil thick rectangular section RHS and I'm going to use this as the, a bed for my little shoreblown lathe. So that will be a the lathe will bolt down onto this and some legs will be and um, drawers and stuff will be fitted underneath this. The same as I did with my old Chinese lathe. Um, this is perfectly flat, perfectly strong, it will never flex so you've got a guaranteed excellent lathe bed uh, or base rather to bolt the lathe down onto. And uh, I mean if you went and bought that from a metal supplier that would cost you quite a, quite a bit of money. While I was at the yard I also picked up some 3 mil thick uh, U-section, this is rolled, so that'll be good for the legs um, and the cross sides and uh, the uh, bracing, so I'll make the stand base out of this then the spine will go across the top and uh, hey presto, after a bit of welding instant uh, lathe stand. So I bought all that quite a bit of it as you can see. While I was there I noticed he had some uh, steel round stock. So here we have some steel round stock. The piece on the left is about uh, 1600 mil long and these other ones are 1200 mil. The diameter, uh, I haven't measured it but you can see it's it's quite a good size stuff. When you buy um, steel from these places of course you don't really know what you're getting. I asked him what this was and he said oh it's mild steel and so the way to check it is you just get yourself a little file, take a file with you and just uh, rub the file on the end see how easily it goes into it. If it goes in relatively easily it's mild steel and if it's hard to get into you know it's probably too hard a machine properly so don't touch it. So in this case I got all this from my little scrap man and he's got lots more of this $25 the lot, $25 Australian for all that. Now that just shows you what you can do and it can make working steel extremely cheap. So there you are, there's an example of what you can get for your money. Once again you've got to probably buy more than you really want but if you were to buy just this one piece of steel here you'd be talking $100 for a piece of bar like that, a piece of round stock. So yes, you can save a lot of money and uh, if you don't mind cleaning off the rust, um, yeah, fantastic value for money. So there you go folks, check out your local demolition or, or uh, scrap man and uh, you can uh, make things very cheap to build and to turn. Okay, catch you next time, see ya.